Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're at Sandstone Falls, West Virginia. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Uh, we got a beer here from Star Hill, just up the road a couple hours. This is their Saison Belgian Style Ale. Uh, guys, I think this may be the second time they've done this because uh, uh, Beer Advocate uh, has a different bottle on here. It was called All Access Corn, what I have here, and then it had an alias on Rape Beer and it took me back over to here. So, uh, one of them has 6% and the other one has 6.5. This particular bottle doesn't have it on here kind of like to have that information too and like I said as far as dating uh, there may be something digitized I don't see anything right off there's nothing on the label guys so with that being said I think it's fairly fresh so we'll see here guys the uh, the description here on uh, Ray Beer says Sar Saison traditional Belgian style farmhouse Style ale, dry, crisp, and complex with plenty of freedoms, hints of earth, refreshing coparona, and bitterness. Well, that's pretty, pretty common for all that type of beer, I would think. So we'll see how this one goes, guys. Uh, glassware, pint, Beckerstein, mug, tumbler, tulip, oversized wine glass. Got the pint glass. Food pairing, cuisines, curried, Thai cheeses, the earthy camembert, Fontina, your nutty cheeses, Asiago, Colby, Parmesan, even your more pungent cheeses. Gorg Gorgonzola and Limburg will go with this one. The uh, meat for this is poultry, fish, and shellfish. And it's six, six and a half percent. It's going to keep for several years. So uh, let's cap off of this and see what this is like, guys. This is a twisty. I didn't really need to use that. So I must be able to get them bottles a little cheaper than the, the ones that cap. You can put enough stuff in cans from what I hear now. So that's a good thing. Over to the light, guys. It's yeah, it's a tad darker than the straw color. It's a nice golden color. Slightly darker than a Bud Light color. <laughs> uh, very carbonated. A lot of bubbles streaming up. Uh, semi-aggressive pour, not super aggressive, and didn't pour a big head, and what it did pour is just barely covering the top of the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Very nice smell. I mean, it's nice Belgian clotted there, a little bit of candied sugar and bubble gum. Very sweet smelling, a little bit of banana, cloves. Smells very nice, very, very delicious. First beer of the day. Very nice smelling, very nice quality. It might be a uh, Maybe, I've not had uh, last year's edition of this either, so this is the first time I've had their version of this Saison. So let's see what Mark Thompson's got going on at Star Hill. Cheers, everybody. It tastes very much like the nose. I'm getting a little bit of a, it's got a breadiness to it too. Nice breadiness to it. I mean, it tastes really balanced to me. It's a really nice, tasty beer. Now, it doesn't have a great big taste. It's going to blow your taste buds out of your mouth. But I think it's a very easy drinking six, six and a half percent beer. So, I'll try to go to their website here while I'm sipping on it and see what they're, what the, they're saying there as far as ABV is on this one. But it's six, six and a half, somewhere in that area. Very pleasant. Very, very pleasant beer. A nice bitterness on the back end. I'm getting a little bit of pears and apples in there too. Nice, very nice. And this is a spring release, so that's why I think this is, you know, just fresh out. This is their spring release, and here it is in February, so a lot of these guys, they like to rush rush the gun, be the first one to get that spring beer out there, that Saison. So we're still not, we're about, about quite a month away from spring or a little less there, so they want to be the first. Cheers to them. Malty, sweet, 
nice Belgian quality to that. I like it. Very easy. It's not my type of beer, but I'm getting more into the Saisons. And this would probably be more of a transitional or easy, more easy drinking Saison, other than having super funk or, or just uh, so much taste it's going to run you away. So I think it's, it's, this is probably where this is going to end up. But it's 40 degrees around the fridge. You know the deal. It's going to warm up. Let the other half taste it. And I'll come back and do the final chug, but not blowing my hair back my socks off, but I think it's a decent beer. Stick around. I got it. I'm back. Got just a little left here. Nothing to jump up and down about here, really. I just warmed up. It's a little on the thin side, but of course, that's kind of the style, I think. So, not a lot of big flavors, not a bowl, a lot of big bowl flavors. Very sessionable. If you've never had a Saison before and you wanted to try one of them, this may be a good one to sink your uh, gums or teeth into, as the case may be. Uh, just not a lot to impress somebody like me that drinks a lot of different kinds of beers. So, Sorry, Mark. I don't choke. Very, very easy drinking for a six to six and a half percent. Not getting the alcohol, so that is a plus, but not getting a lot of big flavors one way or the other. Like I told you when the first popped the cap on it. A little bit of bubble gumminess there and a little honey a honey or a sweetness, some pears and apples. Uh, but basically it didn't uh, it didn't have anything really to impress you. Uh, impress you enough to go back and grab another one or, or buy it again. So I'm sorry that's the way I feel about it. Uh I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a uh, I'm gonna give it a six, which is a B. Uh definitely uh probably a little above average. In my opinion, like I said, maybe a little uh, biased toward them since they're a local brewery, but uh, it's a decent beer. It's just not my style, and, and on a hot summer day, this would probably be very good to, to hammer back up three or four of them, uh, and if it's six or six and a half percent, you're going to get that effect. So uh, probably if it was a decent price on a six pack, it'd probably be good. Like I said this one was two dollars and nineteen cents uh, on a single, so. Hopefully the six pack wouldn't burn you up too bad, depending on where you buy it. Uh, a lot of the, and I, and I, I don't want to get into the, the aspect of faulting the beer company because I'm paying big prices for it. They can't control that a lot of times. A lot of times they do, uh, the, the beers cost uh, the distributors more, but you got to realize in the craft beer stores, if, if this guy's selling craft beer and his overhead is, like he's only paying five hundred dollars a month rent and this guy over here is paying two thousand dollars a month rent well he's got to charge more for his beers because his rent's higher than this guy over here and a lot of times us as people that buy the beers you don't take that into consideration hey man that was an expensive beer well it was because you bought it in the boutique and and his rent is out to Wazula here but uh, the guy down the street here has got a little cardboard shack almost, and his beers are a lot cheaper. Got the same beers, and that's that's basically what it is. What it costs him to run his business. So a lot of times we don't take that into consideration, but it's what it is. That's why beers are different prices, different places. Uh, that all has an effect on it, what they're paying overhead and uh, help uh, and everything else. So a lot of that's taken into consideration. So and all over the country, the prices are different. Like on the Bell's beers and stuff. Uh, uh, I, I, where it's made, it's a lot cheaper than it is here because they're not having to ship it and truck it and warehouse it and, and distribute it. So that all adds cost to the beers, guys. I'm flapping my gums. Right beer has this a 66 overall, 29 in the style, and beer average comes up with 83 in the good. And I agree, it's a good beer. See it? You want to try it? Pick it up. Let me know if you like it. And if you have had it, just comments back. Let me know. Liked it, loved it, couldn't stand it. Best thing I ever had. Hit that like button if you like it. Let's look in the fridge tomorrow. Maybe it'd be just a little bit better than this one. Keep your fingers crossed. See you then.